Hey, 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 everybody! It is Kurt, aka the Vitruvian Gamer, and we're here with a new episode of the playthrough of Robinson Crusoe Adventures of the Cursed on the Cursed Island. And uh, well, this normally is an interactive playthrough. Uh, sadly enough, I think my viewers also are feeling a little bit down because we are uh, not looking good, and I sadly enough didn't get any responses this week, uh, which is okay. It things happen. So I have to take decisions myself this time and uh, that's probably not the best thing to do. So well, we'll see what happens if I make some decisions and I'm planning to do some desperate measures. So let's go to the table and see what we can do to well to survive this thing here. And this is where we were. We were here with Karen, our carpenter at one life. So she's almost dead. The soldier, which is just out of screen, so let me do this like this. He has three lives left, so that's not much. It's Friday, he has one life left. We captured one animal to save in a cage. We have one cage ready. We need one more, and we need to rescue one more animal, and we have to get our camp to the beach as well. So a lot of things we need to do. So, one thing I'm going to do first, because I uh, have been thinking about where we are and problem is our morale is at minus 3 which means uh, as soon as it will be the soldier's turn next time he ha will have to pay determination tokens and he doesn't have enough and stuff like that. And now he can survive that but Karen will not survive such a thing. So I have taken this hourglass, this spyglass of illusionary hope. So this might be an illusion, but anyway, this uh, if you haven't seen it yet in the past, this is the spyglass of illusionary hope. And it says, enough staring at the empty horizon. No ship will ever reach here. It is time to quit living on illusionary hopes. Damn spyglass. So let's break the spyglass in half to get five determination tokens. And additionally, after the game, we have to record it. So, but I'm recording this anyway. So this is happening for real folks. I'm going to do this, so I'm going to ah, break the spyglass and get five determination tokens for Karen. She is desperate and desperate times ask for desperate measures. All right, so that's the first thing we will do. And now we are going to, uh, well, it's time for us to do some actions. I'm going to send Karen to the mess in the camp to put things in order so that next time we don't get an extra rain cloud. Tim, our soldier, is going right over here. He is going to hunt, uh, but he's not going to hunt. He's going to capture an animal to save it. And I was thinking to we need more wood and food maybe. I want to go uh, closer to the camp, to the beach already after in this night and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to, first going to check out maybe if we can get something cool right over here. Although, although I'm thinking about other things, maybe we should already prepare for animals. Oh, yeah, that might be, uh, we need one more, but, but we now have enough determination tokens to do an econo economical construction. Oh, I might do something else now. I think she is going to build something. And what are we going to build? Well, I think... Oh, we are going to build a fire. Yeah. So, she's going to build a fire. That's what she will do. Awesome. So, that's all. That's all the things we are going to do. I can't take any chances of sending someone alone to a mission because if we take one wound and well, the die for building has four chances out of six to get a wound, so I cannot take any chances. So I'm going to do it like this. And yeah, that's it. That's what I will do. And that means we are already going to do the actions. So first of all, Karen is putting some things in order, which means she cleans up the mess in camp. And that means she discards a card and gets one more determination token. Well, she's determined now. She still believes in the cause. 
All right, then we go to the hunting phase. So we will hunt one of the animals that we have put aside. So we know how strong it is, but we don't know what it does to our weapon and stuff like that. So we are hunting or capturing an iguana. So again, four strength, we can handle that. We have five weapon, but it removes one of it. And, uh, oh crap. So if we would have hunted it for real, we could have gotten food and fur. But in this case, we get an additional wound regardless of our... Okay, so luckily for us, it is Tim who gets wounded. He's going down. We lose one weapon. and But we save the iguana. We rescue the iguana. And I'm going to put him into the cage. Now, normally, you do that when coming back. But I'm going to do that so I don't forget it. All right, awesome. So that was the hunting or saving animals. Pretty neat. And now for next thing is we are going to build very easy, very fast, very quickly. We're going to build the fire. And that means our palisade goes up by one. And we are a little bit safer from animals already. And that's it, folks. That's it. That's the only thing we do this round. So I think I'm going to do two rounds, maybe. So let's go and quickly go to the next part of a round, which is, of course, the weather phase. And in the weather phase, well, this time we need to roll the die again, the weather die. So let's zoom in a little bit. Let's see what we roll. Dun -dun -dun. One cloud. Perfect. We have one roof. So nothing happens this time. Nothing bad. And then we go to the night phase where first of all we have to eat. And we will eat for sure. So we're going to eat some bananas. There we go. And since we still have some food that will perish after this round, we are going to use our pot that we have. And we're going to eat one food with Karen. And that will heal her one more wound. That might be a lifesaver there. And now we have to see, well, we don't spend the night outside. We are going to move camp though. And uh, well, oh, this is a tough choice. Because next round we will need more food. Uh, so I think, but we might need, we need wood for a cage as well. That's bad. We need to build a cage next round, but we need some food as well. So I've got a plan. I've got one plan for next round. So I'm going to move. And we're moving towards that space. Oh, that's not close enough. Oh, crap. Oh, no, we're not going to get there where we need to go. And we need wood for... Oh, okay. Okay, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Let's go here. So we move camp. And then we go to the next round already. Now, this might be a dangerous one. But because at the end of this round... We will roll both dies. The animal dies, die and the weather die. Ugh, might be bad, might be bad. Okay, so then we go to round nine. Well, we were at round nine already. Oh, crap. Oh, we are going to lose. We are going down. And it's because of the iguana that we tried to rescue. Because Oh no, yeah, I think Tim is going to die now, right at this very moment. This is bad. Oh, this is crap. Let me check this out first, uh, I, but I think, oh man, this is the worst thing ever. We were, I was still hoping to win this game. Oh no, 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 morale phase. Yeah, we're 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 doomed. Oh no. I should have done yeah, but I would I didn't know I was going to get a wound because of the iguana. I think we're dead. I think Tim is going to die. I should have healed Tim. But I didn't. Was that? Can we turn that back? Because I was not thinking ahead. Um, yeah, let's turn that back. So instead of Tim, it is Karen who took the wound. Uh, healed the wound. That's it. 
because of the, the pot and then we have enough because I'll, I'll explain why so first of all we get the event phase and I know some people don't like taxi backsies but in this case uh, I think we can so we have a bear a bear finds your camp and destroys it and we have first have a book symbol which means our morale drops again but it cannot drop anymore which has no consequences we put a black cube on the arranged camp action space during the next arranged camp you must discard that instead of getting the benefit of the action oh crap we cannot even do the arranged camp action anymore oh crap okay so this goes back in uh, this part here we can send one person with the shovel which we already built and then we get to discard this card and get one determination token uh, all right now we go to the morale phase we have minus three meaning tim has to discard three he only can discard one so he takes two wounds and that's why i really needed to heal that one wound so he's at one karen is at one and that means this might be <laughs> uh, done very soon now we go to the resource phase and we cannot forget well the production phase we get one food that's for sure and now we have to roll the die, the gray one. And if we get a success, we get two more food. So that is, again, a very important roll here. Let's see. I'll zoom in for you. There we go. Okay, awesome. Zoom out. The fishing pole is very helpful here. So two more bananas. Great. And then we go to the action phase and in this phase we are going to do some actions of course and we need well we need uh, very much we need to build a cage again that is what we have to do this round hmm so let's do that I wish I could arrange camp but I think I'm going to build something more uh, because it's possible there is a snow it's not that war bad um, Maybe we should, maybe, I don't have any fur. Maybe I should, we could build a fireplace, which gives us more health in the night phase. Or we could build bricks, which gives us a palisade plus one. Hmm. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I'm going to send Karen. We're going to take make keep it very simple again this round. So Karen will... Oh, we need to build a cage, of course. No palisade to be built. We built a cage, but we need to spend two morale tokens to make it cheaper. So we pay two morale tokens. And we bring one wood to this building site. Then we get, take... Oh, the soldier, what is, what was he going to do? Now he could go explore and maybe he gets some wood there and stuff like that. Or the palisade. Oh man, I guess I want to take the chance here. I'm going to send him here over right over here. Or should we build palisade or the fireplace? The fireplace, we have three food. I'm going to send him here. I'm going to do it like that. And Friday, he is going to clean up the mess the bear made and reduce, just do some repairs. That's it. That's what we're going to do. So, first of all, we are going to do this. So, Friday repairs the camp a little bit. That gives him a determination token. There we go. Then, no hunting this time, but we are going to build. We are going to build with Karen and we're building an another cage. The last cage we need. So we put it in the future spot there. And then we are going not to, uh, not to uh, gather, but we are going to explore. We brought two folks here. So that means it is an automatic success. And I'm not going to take from the wrong pile this time. Let's take from the right one. Okay, so we have this thing here which means this is our fifth totem so th this doesn't activate anything anymore but we get one food and one wood that's cool that's useful 
one foot and one wood and one of those treasure tokens or mystery tokens or whatever and we get a fallen tree I was hoping to get something that raises morale but well it's okay and that were our actions already so let's go back to camp whoop, whoop. we get a wood from this token here there we go so we are already back home yeah yeah that were the actions so we're back already that means we have the weather phase and this might be the most important role these dice here let's see okay so we have snow which is okay because our old clothes change that into rain then we have one rain and that means our roof is strong enough but some creature steals one of our bananas which is sad because I could have used that to heal someone all right so that was the weather phase we survived that one and that means now we go to the night phase already in which again we need to eat so we'll eat one food each and we have one more banana and oh man who's going to eat the banana I think since Karen will be the next player first player she is going to take the banana in case the event does something bad to her there we go one banana for her and uh, well then we sleep inside so that's not the problem then we're going to move camp to the beach again so we're back at the beach that's where we need to be we're going to round 10 and I'm going to keep playing let's end this game let's finish this in this one one setting all right round 10 first a new event which is a sunny beach it is beautiful morning and you wake up in a great mood you slept well this is a miracle folks this is a miracle now it has a green question mark on it so it means this one gets the green token on it and let's see a suspiciously quiet morning we can send two people there to get determination tokens but that's not the problem at this moment so let's wow okay 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 now we have to pay three morale folks three morale tokens because we are at minus three but we were prepared because of our spyglass okay people now it is time to plan some actions first of all of course we get some food and some wood because we well we are in the resource phase where we also roll the gray die to see if our fishing pole catches some fish and it does wow okay i think we can handle it maybe there we go we have a lot of resources we have Oh man, maybe we should take it. I'm not going to take any chances this time. And I'm going to... Oh, by the way, at the end of this round, we need to roll the animal die and ooh, the snowy die. This might still be a dangerous one. If, so we need protection from snow. And for, to protect us from snow, we need wood and food, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it does one wood and one foot uh, so if we roll two clouds we need one foot and one wood because but we have that we still have that we need so i think we are going to send this beautiful beautiful tree some here to the hunting space we are not going to take any chances that's what i said and they're going to bring the grab action here there we go that was a special one we had and then we have two people left here and I think I think what do I think hmm what are we going to do are we going to protect ourselves from the animals we need one more food to be safe I think 
because of the snow and stuff like that but oh, the gather resource is a dangerous one to do so where can I get some more food and uh, nowhere nowhere I cannot build a furnace that's sad I, because I don't have the bricks so we might as well I'm going to send both of them to rest just going to rest now that's what they do so that means the actions nothing here nothing there we do the grab action which is a special one we save one beast without fighting it and we have to declare using the grab before taking the save action which we did and it, it requires one more pound which we used so we rescue oh it's this is cool this is so cool this is my favorite animal a cheetah oh I love it I love these animals so we are going to rescue the cheetah awesome that means they come back they saved the cheetah which was the most important one <laughs> then building no gathering no exploring no we are going to rest and both of them are going to heal one more wound and they're going to go back home which means it is the last weather phase already so they bring back the cheetah they grabbed the cheetah how I don't know how they did it but they did and now let's zoom in again we're going to roll these two dice in the weather phase let's see what happens Wow oh okay so we have an animal of three strength that attacks us which is not bad because we have five weapon strength we have two rainy clouds and that's uh, that's bad that's too bad okay let's see what this does so we um, we have one roof so we have not enough roof to deal with the cloud and um, so for each one we must discard one food and one wood so we need to, okay we're okay one food one wood folks there we go we pay one food and one wood Rip. Now we go to the night phase in which we are going to eat of course both of them are going to eat and then and then let's see let's put this into picture we have the cheetah we have rescued the iguana and we have rescued earlier on the goats from the poachers which means let's take this again here Oops, there we go the players win at the end of any round as long as they have saved the required wounded beasts and their camp is located on the beach tile so folks there we are there they are we survived barely now so I won we won so we won but but <laughs> there's a big but here we used the spyglass so this one has saved us because this one if we didn't use the spyglass we would have been dead also I did the one taxi backsy with the healing I hope you forgive me for that I think it wasn't the biggest thing because um, it was something it's hard to keep in mind everything while you do a playthrough online and stuff like that while filming and then sometimes you forget to do the smart thing and count the right numbers with the morale so I turned that back a little bit uh, it's not that we did anything in between me choosing who to heal and other actions so anyway uh, we won kinda uh, we well again we won because we had this so thanks portal games for giving us this to use Thanks folks for watching. Uh, I know you didn't respond or give clues or hints last time. I forgive you. I know this has been a long playthrough and I'm very eager to do something else. But I love this game and I'm glad I can finally put it back into the box and play it with some other people. And uh, well, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, feel free to give this a thumbs up. If you uh, are not subscribed yet and want to see more playthroughs of uh, me, then uh, feel free to subscribe, of course, and feel free to 
do some comments below and uh, whatever you want to say and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Anyway folks, it's been a long adventure, a long trip, a very cool trip. I love it that we saved the cheetah, it is my favorite animal and uh, well, I'm very happy we survived. I'm very happy I had some spy glasses available to me and I'm very happy that you all joined me in this adventure. And I invite you next time. I hope to see you soon. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye bye.